We got a new uh, camera. Willard over here. cannot use chopsticks. I can use them, I just choose not to. Right? Yeah, okay. It's my first time at a Vietnamese restaurant. You can't use them. And what I do can you use them. Where am I? What's up, Will Vlog viewers? We are, uh, well, I'm here with the normal vloggers. What's happening? Hey. Mike and Ray Ray. We're gonna go, uh, go ride this thing, actually, the, uh, the tram here in Portland. It goes up to there. Put it up there. Anyways, that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna go ride that thing. It's a pretty nice view of the city. They, uh, they built it, actually, so people that work it OHSU, the hospital, can ride it to the top to get to work. It doesn't make any sense because it costs like a billion dollars. It's pointless to have it. Why don't we go suntan with the naked man over there? You want to talk, you want to talk shop right now? Politics is my business, okay? We're going to go ride that. We just ate some Vietnamese food. What would you, what would you rate that Vietnamese food? Well, that's the first time I've ever had Vietnamese food, but I did not like it. One, I didn't really like the coconut thing I had. Do you think that's a real problem? What? Do you think that's a real problem? Anywho, we're gonna go ride this thing. Oh yeah, the restaurant. The restaurant. You're kind of Vietnamese, right? <laughs> I could use chopsticks like yourself. Yeah, I can't use chopsticks when I'm eating like noodles and rice. I didn't well, I probably could. I just don't really I don't practice that much. See Mike, he's Samoan. Do you guys use them in Samoan? No. Just, yeah. just my Japanese I know. Side. You're probably thinking right now, oh, he's Samoan. Look at this. Look how big this Samoan is. Oh, man. Yeah, he should write a freaking cookbook or diet <laughs> on how to be the smallest Samoan on the planet because that's what he is. Hey, look, here's a bistro he's with mac real food. He's mac and cheese and Oreos. You should have ate the freaking Dolce Vita bistro. That sounds Italian. I like Italian food. <laughs> what I don't enjoy is Vietnamese food. <laughs> Shout out to all the Vietnamese watches, but uh, <laughs> I know there's a lot of you out yeah. there. Uh, nobody literally watches this anymore. This thing is dying. <laughs> this thing is dying as we speak. All right, let's go ride this thing. There's people right there just ask me a bunch of questions about the tram. Like I work here. Guess what? I don't work here. I'm a freaking patron of this service. You guys ready? There's no need to be rude. Let's see way. that. Three fares. Yeah. Repairs. Gone in the wind. Is this one way? Twelve. Both ways. 12, it's Are we walking back? <laughs> yep. We gotta walk back down. On this old tram. Yeah. Hey, pretty high up today. I'm hot. Just like, I'll take that high yeah. option. You guys gotta get on the tram. It's kinda hot in here. We're just hanging. We're just hanging. Oh, they'll crack the door when we get halfway. <laughs> They crack it open anybody who's had second just thoughts and just let them go. Uh, he said you want to get on an airplane, right? Yeah. Well, in case you want to get it out. So guys, I kind of want to do plunge or uh, skydiving. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to because this is pretty high up right now. And I don't know if I can jump out of a plane from this height. A little bit. It's cost a million dollars to me. I believe it. How many tickets do you got to sell to pay for this bad <laughs> Do that math. Viewers, get your TI-84s on and calculate that. It's called docking. Putting the old tram in the hole. Okay guys, so that's Mount Rainier right behind St. Mount St. Helens over there. Mount St. Helens is the big one, right? Bloop, bloop there. That is Mount Adams. And that big boy right there is Oregon's pride and joy, Mount Hood. Bridge, the freaking sky bridge they have up here. It's pretty dope, huh? Looks a little crooked. Yeah, they screwed up, made it crooked. No, the arch is in the middle. Don't you know how I many bridges? I could have been an engineer, probably. I could have designed something like this. If you get sick, this is the hospital you want to be at. Baller hospital. Number one. Wasn't <laughs> the coolest looking hospital on the planet. We just got off the tram to the top. I just got took yeah. by my own girlfriend. Yeah, now we're um, right next to the tram is um, some undeveloped land. 
won't be that way for long. They're gonna destroy this uh, flower flower place. See, there's this flower garden. What do you call it? A garden? What do you... Okay, what do you call this? A garden? It's called the open house um, dahlia fields. Yeah, so <laughs> you basically go pick some flowers and stuff. They're dahlias. They're all dahlias. So at the top of that tram is a, a hospital. What, I've, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some flowers here. I'm going to get myself a nice bouquet. I'm going to go kick it up at the hospital and try to find a uh, female doctor. I'm just going to hang out up there. That's a new game plan. No more old ladies. No. Doctor ladies. Doctors. Then I'm going to give them these flowers that I picked freshly because I'm a gentleman. And probably from there, I'll pretty much probably going to get proposed to by the doctor because <coughs> she'll be make money. And I'll be a house, hus house husband? House man? <laughs> Housewife? Yeah, she's not a daddy. Yeah, and then, you know, you know, take care of the house and stuff like that. That's the plan. Anyways, let's get some flowers here. Um, um, do you think that these are the expensive ones? Yeah. Oh, that flower is so expensive. But yes, I do. That looks like a dinner plate. Why don't you just get this whole plant? I feel like this is a weird place to have this garden. When you're right next to these towers. As I say, oh, that's cool. That's a dinner plate. You can't afford those. That. Can't afford that, huh? That's eight bucks. What are they running with dinner for? Eight bucks for one of those? For, you can't afford that? You just got a job. You can afford three dollar flowers now, right? It's a perk having a job. Three dollar flowers. That's the only perk to having a job. All right, guys. So at the end of the day, got some flowers. Rode the tram. Saw the sights I wanted to see. Sing the songs I wanted to sing. Climb the mountains that I wanted to climb, huh? This is the Will vlog, and we'll see you guys next time. Boom.